Here, let us learn what is factor theorem. Now, let us see what is factor theorem with the help of an example. Let us consider P of x equals x cube plus 3x square plus 5x plus 6. And let us check if x plus 2 is a factor of x cube plus 3x square plus 5x plus 6. Now, how we can check if x plus 2 is a factor of x cube plus 3x square plus 5x plus 6 is nothing but just find the zero of x plus 2, which is nothing but x plus 2 equals 0, x equals 0 minus 2, and x equals minus 2. So now what we have to do is substitute minus 2 in this expression that is in p of x so that becomes p of minus 2 and yeah let x plus 2 be x minus a now p of minus 2 is nothing but minus 2 the whole cube plus 3 into minus 2 square plus 5 into minus 2 plus 6 which is nothing but minus 2 the whole cube is minus 2 into minus 2 which is plus 4 and plus 4 into minus 2 is minus 8 plus minus 2 the whole square is plus 4 so therefore it is 3 into 4 and 5 into minus 2 is minus 10 plus 6 so we have minus 8 plus 12 minus 10 plus 6 which is nothing but minus 8 plus 12 is plus 4 plus 4 minus 10 is minus 6 and minus 6 plus 6 is 0. So, p of minus 2 is 0. So, therefore, we can say that x plus 2 is a factor of x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5x plus 6. So, what we can conclude from this is, I'll make a small note here. The factor theorem states that if p of x is a polynomial of degree n greater than or equal to 1 and a is any real number, then x minus a is a factor of p of x if p of a equal to 0. I hope you can relate this note with the example that I've done here. P of x is this and x minus a is x plus 2. So we've done the same thing here and we've got P of a equals 0. So which says that x plus 2 is indeed a factor of x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5x plus 6.